Welcome to the Pregistry Channel. My name is Allison, and today I'm going to talk about sepsis, short for septicemia. Sepsis is a blood poisoning infection that is life-threatening and kills more than 258,000 Americans every year. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, reports that there are more than a million cases of sepsis a year, and anyone at any age can get it, but it is more common after surgery. Mothers who are delivering through C-section should be aware that infection can occur after their surgery, even if it goes well, but recognizing the signs of infection can reduce negative health outcomes. If left untreated, this infection could lead to a reduction of blood supply to the vital organs, which can result in multiple organ failures as well as death. Some signs to look out for are, is the wound red and sore around the edges as well as boiling hot to the touch? Some pain is normal, but if you witness the sign of infection, contact your provider as soon as possible, even if the wound is not oozing or weeping. A high fever is another sign of infection that can involve chills and the feeling of being cold. Your temperature should be around 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius. The feeling of being extremely tired and weak is another indication of infection, as well as a resting heart or pulse rate should be around 100 beats per minute. If it's more than that, contact your provider. Most importantly, if you ever feel at any point after your C-section that something does not feel right, please contact your provider right away. Remember, as wonderful as it is to be with your new arrival, you have to look after yourself too. Be sure to give yourself some time to rest and refrain from doing heavy physical activities so that your body has a chance to heal. For more information about this, check out Pregistry.com. 